Hi guys, welcome to episode 10 of Autograph Diaries 2019. I'm just going to get straight on with the video, so I hope you enjoy. Today is Monday the 4th of March, and today I received three envelopes of autographs in the post, all of which I've opened off camera. The first envelope contained two arrow cards, like what eBay purchases. The first one is this one here, signed by actor Jamie Sheridan, who played Robert Queen. As you can see, it's an authentic autograph card. Signed just there, Jamie Sheridan. And then that's the back. And then from the same seller, I also got this one here of Janet Kidder, who plays Ruve Adams. Again, an authentic autograph card. And there's the back. As you know, I'm a massive fan of Arrow, so I'm always looking to add autographs from the cast to my collection. And when I saw these on eBay, very cheap, I had to get them. I'm very happy to add them to my collection. So yeah, eBay purchases of Jamie Sheridan and Janet Kidder. The second envelope I received also contained eBay purchases, this time three Stenders cast cards and three Coronation Street cast cards. So starting with the Coronation Street cards, this one here of Craig Gazy, who played Graham in the show. This one here of Elizabeth Dawn, who played Vera Duckworth. And this one here of Matthew Crompton, who played Dan Mason. All of these are new additions to my collection, I believe. And then the EastEnders cast cards from the same seller. This one here of Petra Latang, who played Naomi Julian. This one here of Kylie Babington, who played Jodie Gold. And this one here of Gary Beadle, who played Paul Truman. Again, all new additions to the collection, and I'm very happy with them. These were all super cheap, so I thought, why not? And yeah, I'm very happy to add them to my collection. And the final autograph I received today was a private email success from American actor Craig T. Nelson. Craig sent me this photo, 10x8, signed just there, Craig T. Nelson, in the worst pen possible, but it is authentic. It's not an auto pen, despite looking like one. It does shine, it is a pen. And yeah, I'm very happy to add him to my collection. Funny story, I actually just got back from sending a TTM success to him, and then I got home and found this. So hopefully soon I'll have another one. But yeah, I'm very happy to add Craig to my collection. He's probably best known for voicing Mr. Incredible in The Incredibles, but I also know him for roles in The Proposal and Book Club, which are two amazing, hilarious films. And yeah, I'm very excited to add Craig to my collection. As it is a private email success, unfortunately I can't share the address, so please don't ask. But yeah, welcome to the collection, Craig. Thank you. Today is Tuesday the 5th of March, and today I received two envelopes of autographs in the post. The first envelope I opened contained a disappointing reply from Harry Potter actor Matthew Lewis, who sent me this signed picture, which is quite evidently a preprint, but with secretarial personalisation. It also says on the back, Matthew t-shirt signed, which is a clear giveaway that it's a preprint because it's clearly mass produced. What a waste of a fucking stamp. So thank you very much, Matthew, for wasting your pre-printed bullshit, wasting my stamps, wasting my energy, wasting my time. Very much appreciated. So yeah, disappointing reply from Matthew Lewis. Bye! And the second envelope I opened today contained a TTM success that I've waited for since March 2018, so it's been out an entire year, from actress Catherine Tate. Catherine signed two photos that I sent to her. This one here of her as Lauren from the Catherine Tate show. To Daniel, Catherine Tate. And this one here of her as Donna Noble in Doctor Who. To Daniel, Catherine Tate. As well as this, Catherine also wrote another little note. Thank you so much for your lovely letter. And that's the address I used if you want to write to her. But be prepared for a long ass wait, let me tell you. But yeah, I'm very happy to add Catherine to my collection again. I absolutely love her. I have actually had the pleasure of meeting Catherine and she's even more amazing in person. And yeah, I'm very excited to add her to my collection again. Thank you very much, Catherine. Today is Wednesday the 6th of March, and today I received two envelopes of autographs in the post. I've opened both off camera, so I'm just going to show you what they were. Both of them were eBay purchases. So the first one is this EastEnders cast card, signed by actress Tanya Franks, who plays Rainy Brenning in the show. This is my first autograph from Tanya in my collection. I absolutely love her. I think she's an amazing actress, and I absolutely love Rainy. She's such a brilliant character. I absolutely hated her the first time around, but I love her this time around. So I'm very happy that she's back. I love the cast card as well, and I'm very happy to finally have a signed version. So yeah, eBay purchase of Tanya Franks. And the second envelope also contained an eBay purchase, this time from singer Alfie Bow. Now, shout out to my friend Mark of Mark's Autograph Collection for finding this. Mark actually sent me the link, he said I should get it. It was only about £2, so I thought, fuck it, why not? I did want his autograph anyway. But yeah, I'm very happy to add this to my collection. Alfie is such an amazing singer. I won't lie to you, I couldn't tell you what he sings because he is an opera singer. And I don't actually give a shit about opera. 
But I do think Alf is absolutely amazing. I think he's got such a beautiful voice and face, and I absolutely love him. So yeah, I'm very happy to add this to my collection. The amazing Alfie Bow. Thank you again, Mark, for sending me the link. Hi guys, I'm sorry about the sudden change in audio quality and the sudden change in my voice. I've got a cold and yeah, I'm not liking it at all. But anyway, I'm just going to show you the rest of the autographs that I received last week. So on Thursday the 7th of March, I received two envelopes of autographs in the post. The first envelope contained two eBay purchases from the same seller. The first one is this 10x8 photograph signed by Love Island star, Amber Davis. I loved Amber on the show and I have wrote to her because she's currently in a play. But I haven't had a reply, so when I seen this on eBay for four ninety nine, I couldn't say no. So yeah, Amber Davis. And the second eBay purchase is also a Love Island star. This time it's Laura Anderson from the most recent series. And yeah, I'm very happy to add both of these to my collection. Both of them were four ninety nine each in a fifty percent sale, so I couldn't say no, and I'm very happy with them. So yeah, eBay purchases of Amber Davis and Laura Anderson. And the second envelope I received on Thursday contained a TTM success from Emmerdale actor, Jay Consul, who plays Billy Fletcher in the show. Jay kindly signed and personalised this Emmerdale cast card for me. To Daniel, quality letter, Jay Consul. And I'm very happy with this. As well as Emmerdale, I also know Jay for being a part of the boy band The Mend that were on Britain's Got Talent a few years ago. And I'm very happy to add his autograph to my collection. I think Billy's an amazing character and I'm really excited to see what happens to him. So yeah, a very quick Emmerdale success from Jay Consul. Thank you, Jay. On Friday the 8th of March, I received one envelope of autographs in the post and one CD pre-order. So the CD pre-order is from Amazon and it is of the amazing Dido. Now it's on her new album, Still On My Mind, and I'm absolutely over the moon to finally have Dido's autograph. I think she's an amazing singer. She's very talented and I'm very happy to have her autograph in my collection. This was only about 9 99 so totally worth it in my opinion. I have heard the album, despite not taking it out of its cellophane. And yeah, I'm not really a massive fan of it at the minute. I'm going to give it a few more chances. But to be honest, I only really bought it for the autograph anyway. So yeah, the amazing Dido. And then the envelope of autographs that I received on Friday was a fire venue success from the cast of Club Tropicana the Musical. Signed by Amel Baraba, Joe McEldrew, Neil McDermott. I have no idea her name at all. And Kate Robbins. I know Amel best for being a member of the Sugar Babes. I know Joe best for winning the X Factor. Neil played Ryan and EastEnders. Again, I've no idea who this is. And I know her for being Emily Atex's mum, but she's also a very well-known actress and comedian. And I'm very happy to add this multi-signed photo to my collection. I did previously write to Amel and Joe individually, but I haven't had a reply from either of them. So I thought, fuck it, let's just send a group photo, see what happens. And yeah, I'm very happy with it. The cast of Club Tropicana The Musical. On Saturday the 9th of March, I received one envelope of autographs in the post, and then one autograph in person. The envelope of autographs that I received contained a TTM success from EastEnders actress, Lacey Turner, who I have a million autographs from now. Lacey sent me another one of these cast cards, which I do have already, so this will be on eBay. But the reason I wrote to her again was because I wanted to add her to my Slater's photo, and she's very kindly added her autograph there. So it's previously signed by Layla Moss and Gillian Wright in two separate TTM successes, and now Lacey's added her signature as well. As you can see though, I'm still missing one signature, Jessie Wallace, and sadly, I don't think I'm going to get it complete because I don't think she signs photos that people send to her. And I'd rather not risk it and lose it because Lacey is going on maternity leave soon. So I won't be able to get her back on it if Jessie does lose it. So I'm just going to leave it for now. If I meet her one day, I might get her on it that way. But yeah, I'm very happy to add Lacey's autograph to this photo. Thank you very much, Lacey. As well as this, she also signed this photo that I sent to her as well. Which, of course, I will be sending to Louisa Lytton. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. A TTM success from Lacey Turner. Thank you, Lacey. And then, like I said, I also received an autograph in person. I was very lucky enough to attend The Girl on the Train at the Curve Theatre in Leicester, starring Samantha Womack and Oliver Fonworth. Before the show, I actually managed to see Oliver. He walked past me a few times, and I also seen Sam. She was walking around the theatre. But because they were kind of busy, I didn't really want to disturb them, so I just let them get on with it. Then I actually got to watch the whole show in the front row, which was absolutely incredible. The show was outstanding. And afterwards, I managed to meet Oliver, and I got this autograph from him, just there. Oliver was absolutely lovely. He told me to get well soon, which is super cute of him. As well as signing this autograph, he also posed for a selfie with me as well, where I look a mess because of my cold, but he looks fit as fuck, so let's just put it on screen. But yeah, I'm very happy to have met Oliver. I think he's an amazing actor. I know him best for playing Andy in Coronation Street. And yeah, I'm very happy to have met him. 
I wish I got to meet Sam as well. I kind of wish I went over to her before the show started. But to be honest with you, one of the staff members told me that she hadn't actually met a single person all week. She was refusing people all week, apparently. And she was just basically a bitch. So, yeah, I'm quite glad I didn't meet her. But yeah, I'm very happy to have met Oliver and got an autograph in person. I loved him in Coronation Street. I loved him in The Girl on the Train. And I'm very happy to have met him. So yeah, an in-person success from Oliver Farnworth. And those are all of the autographs that I received this week. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you soon with another video. Bye, guys.